Good morning, Martin. Katie, you know, it occurs to me, you folks shake your head so violently that perhaps I need to get strips of Velcro and put them up here on this podium. I would not want you to fall off. But this is a time when we're getting ready for Christmas. And in our society, you can tell it easily. I was mentioning a few minutes ago that Christmas decorations have been out for months. And already, Christmas carols and songs about the holiday are being played in stores. Sadly, there are not that many people in the stores to hear them. But nevertheless, commercials on television abound with things that we can have to share and reasons we can spend our money. You know, 2,000 years ago, there was no television. There was no radio. There was no internet. And so we had to share the good news about Jesus through word of mouth. There's even an AT&T commercial that talks about that. How sharing by word of mouth is what we did before there were commercials. Martin, you know that this Sunday represents a very special day in the church year. It's called the first Sunday of Advent. And it's the beginning of a four week period of preparation for Christmas. Now I'll bet you, you folks decorated your homes. I know that the origin of the Christmas tree dates back to your period of time, Martin. In fact, there are some people who consider you to be the originator of the concept. Taking a pine branch or a pine tree and decorating it for the holiday. Folks do all kinds of things for Christmas. We've got a nativity set outside on our front lawn. We've got lights and a banner. But the most important Christmas preparation is the one that occurs in our hearts. We don't know exactly when Jesus is going to come back again. We know we'll celebrate Christmas on December 25th. But we can celebrate Christmas today, too. Because today can be a day when we invite Jesus into our hearts. And so today becomes a little Christmas. An opportunity for us in a bleak and dreary environment to celebrate and to have hope. Let's pray. Papa, we thank you for this special time of the year and for what it means to us. We thank you for keeping your promise to send a Savior. And we thank you for the promise that he will come again. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen.